Hey guys, it's Bowsy Wowsy, and today we are doing a tutorial on this witch hut. Let me give you guys a little fly around here so you can see what it looks like from all the angles. And there you have it. Let me show you what you're going to need to start the build. You're going to need dark oak planks, stairs, slabs, and fences. You're going to need spruce trapdoors and spruce doors, cobblestone, cobblestone walls, mossy cobblestone, bricks, black stained glass panes, so two campfires, some cobwebs, red mushrooms, brown mushrooms, a dead bush, some large ferns, you're gonna need regular ferns and bone meal, podzol and mycelium if you want to have the ground be kind of this color. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. To get started, this is gonna be our front door right here. You're gonna place a mossy and a cobble in this shape. Then we're gonna place one, two cobble, one mossy, Going on the diagonal here, a cobble, skip block, a mossy. We're gonna go one, two, cobble like this. A mossy, a cobble, and a mossy. Working back again on the diagonal. Cobble, mossy, and cobble. On the diagonal here, a cobble, and another cobble like this with a mossy in between, and then a cobble on that side. Two cobble here, a mossy there, a cobble here, a mossy there, and two cobble. You have your base layer done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to these corners here and we're gonna add in fences. Okay, skip this one right there. Go ahead and add one right here. A fence here. And a fence right there, okay? Let's go over to the front and this is where all your fences should be. Go ahead and grab your cobblestone wall going to add the little patio area, a wall here next to the fence. Bring that out by two, so you should have a total of three. Bring this in by three as well, okay, and one on this side. So you'll have one, two, three, one, two, three, and one right there. Moving over to the back here, this mossy cobble, you're going to want to grab your pods all. And you're gonna place a pods all here and line that with spruce trapdoors. We'll add all our little decorations and things afterwards. What you can do right here for the front door and the patio door is place a uh, dark oak plank or whatever plank you're gonna want for the floor and place your doors facing out like this so it gives it a little bit more depth. Let's go ahead and work on the second layer. A cobble here, a mossy here, Cobble, mossy, and cobble. Cobble and cobble. Cobble, go ahead and put a glass pane right there. Cobble, mossy, and cobble. Cobble here, two mossy, one mossy there. A cobble here, a glass pane right there, and another cobble. Okay, on this side, two mossy like this. One, two, three glass panes, a mossy, and a cobble. Go ahead and bring all of your fences up by one that you have placed. And we're circling back over to the front and the patio area right here. Go ahead and place a fence here and a fence there. Moving on to the third layer, a cobble here, a mossy over the top, and a cobble next to it. Two cobble here, you can leave this empty. A cobble here on this side and one over the door. Moving over to this side here. A mossy, go ahead and place another glass pane. A cobble, a glass pane, and a cobble. Right here on this side, a cobble here and a cobble there. A cobble and a cobble here. Go ahead and bring that glass pane up by one and a mossy next to it. Right here, we're gonna go a cobble like this. One, two, three cobble over those glass panes and a cobble to finish off this level. Go ahead and right here on this very first um, cobble that you've placed on the top there, place a trap door. Go ahead and bring your fences up by one as well, except your patio fences, okay? So just the ones that go around the house. And we are back over at the front. 
Starting on our next level, a glass pane here, a cobble here, and a mossy there, right up against that mossy you just placed, a trapdoor right here. Moving over to this side right here. Okay, we're gonna place a mossy, a cobble, and a mossy. Go ahead and bring that glass pane up by one, and a mossy next to it. In the back here, you're gonna to wanna to place some helper blocks. So a block here and a block there and place a mossy on top of that in that shape, okay? Right here over the top of this window, go ahead and just bring some cobble over the top of that. And we are moving back over to the front. All right, next level on top of our glass pane right here is a mossy and a mossy another glass pane next to that. Moving over to this side right here. Go ahead and place a cobble here and a cobble here with a mossy next to it. Let's go ahead and move over to this side with a glass pane on top of that mossy on the diagonal. Moving over here, we have a mossy here, a pane here, and a cobble right there. And let's go ahead and move back over to the front to go to the next level. We're gonna place two cobble here. Go ahead and bring that glass pane up by one. On this side over here, we're going to place a mossy, a cobble, and a mossy next to that. Moving over to the back right here, go ahead and bring this mossy up with a glass pane here and a cobble next to it. Moving back over to the front, go ahead and place a cobble here with a mossy on top of it. On the side right here, go ahead and place a cobble right here on the middle. And we're gonna scoot back over here to the back and we're gonna place two cobble on top of the panes. And we have finished with the basic cobble structure of the house. And now we add the roof and then our small little details. To get started on our roof, we're gonna look at the front here and up against this third fence, we're gonna look this way and then place a stair right there so that it's upside down like this. Okay, go ahead and right here, place a stair the right way and bring it all the way across and out by one, okay? So you're going to end it right here. Go ahead and place your upside down stair alongside that stair as well. Okay, you're gonna copy this over onto the other side. So on the third one, we're gonna place an upside down stair like this and a stair like this and bring this over. Go ahead and circle this stair out as well and until it hits the cobblestone wall here. Right here on top of this fence, go ahead and just fill in with some slabs until you hit these stairs. On this side right here, go ahead and place an upside down stair there as well. Right here on this fence, go ahead and do the upside down stair and bring these stairs here and then bring them out. And you're going to bring it out too, okay? Here's your last cobble there and you're gonna bring it out to this way. Moving back over to the front, we're gonna go ahead and work on our next layer. Right here, up alongside this upside down stair, go ahead and place a full block and bring it all the way out until you hit your other upside down stair. Same thing on the other side, upside down stair here and just bring it out to the end. Right here on this side, so on top of the patio, we're gonna place stairs in this shape. Okay, and you can bring this block out one more. Moving over to this side right here, go ahead and place an upside down stair here and we, this mossy cobble is another upside down stair. Okay, moving over to this side here, go ahead and bring these stairs all the way across. It should look like this. On this stair right here, the second to last, go ahead and go behind it and place a dark oak like this. Moving back over to the front, we're gonna start on our next level and right here where you've placed your previous blocks, go ahead and fill that in with more blocks. 
Same thing for the other side here. Go ahead and fill that in with more blocks. On top of this upside down stair right here, you're also going to place some full blocks like this. Moving over to the other side, we're gonna place on top of that upside down stair, one, two, three. It's gonna connect up to our pane and we're gonna go one, two, and three again. And now we move back over to the front to get started on our next layer. On top of these blocks here, go ahead and place a full layer of stairs like this. On this side here, go ahead and place your upside down stair like that and the same thing on the front. Okay, same thing for this side here and your upside down stair here on the front. It will cover your window a little bit, but that's okay. Right here, this is the patio. Go ahead and bring your stairs all the way around. Place an upside down stair here and an upside down stair against this mossy cobble. On this side right here with your single pane, you are going to place a full block here and a full block there. Go ahead and fill this side in with stairs and you're gonna place a stair here and a full block right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and move over to the front and get started on our next layer. On top of these upside down stairs, go ahead and bring a full layer, a layer of full blocks. And same thing on the patio side. Right here on top of this upside down stair, go ahead and bring a layer of stairs out this way and place a full block here to finish that off. On our side with the window pane, go ahead and bring this window pane up by one like this. A stair here facing that way, a stair next to it, and then turn it around to form this shape. Right here on this block, go ahead and place a stair here, a stair here, and a stair to connect like this. Place two full blocks in this shape. Okay, you'll have a stair here in the middle, three stairs around, and two full blocks right there. On top of this window pane, go ahead and place an upside down stair. And from that upside down stair, go ahead and pull a slab out like this. Let's move back over to the front. Right here, we're gonna go ahead and on top of our blocks, add in another layer of full blocks. And the same thing on the other side. And right here, you can skip that middle and two full blocks right there as well. You can place a helper block here to place a slab right there. You can remove that helper block if you'd like. Go ahead and bring your slabs all the way out to cover your edges here. Right here, you can place an upside down stair and bring that slab out by one. Let's do this right here and bring your slabs out to this previous slab that you have placed. Let's move back over to the front and get started on our next layer. For our next layer, go ahead and place a row of stairs on top of your full blocks and the same thing on this other side. Go ahead and place a full block right here to fill in that gap. And then an upside down stair here and an upside down stair there. On top of these upside down stairs, go ahead and place a slab like this, pull it out by one, go ahead and bring it all the way across, and out by one right there. You have finished with the roof. Now it's time for us to add our chimneys and our small little details. Go ahead and get your flower pots ready, your bricks, and your other nature materials. To add in our decoration items, we're gonna start on this side right here. We're gonna place our first cobweb. We're gonna go up to the second level of stairs right here. On the second stair right above it is a cobweb. For it, on this lower set here, you're gonna go across one, two, three, four, and five. Above the fifth one is another cobweb. If you're looking from the ground here, 
you can see the middle window pane. Go ahead and follow that up to this stair right here. Go ahead and take that out and place your bricks, one, two, and three, your campfire on top of it, and surround that on these three sides with your trap doors. You're going to need your cobblestone wall and just place one on top of it like this to simulate a really cute little chimney. Let's move over to the front and right here on this cobblestone block you're going to place a cobweb. Go ahead and place two flower pots, one there and one there, a red mushroom in this one and a dead bush in that one. Moving over to the patio side, right under here, hiding in this little corner, is a cobweb there. We're going to go up here to, this is our first layer of stairs, this is our second layer of stairs, and right above this last stair here is a cobweb. Moving over to our um, last layer of stairs, this is our slabs right here, this is our last layer, we're going to go across four, one, two, three, and four. Go ahead and take that block out, place your brick there, a campfire on top of it, and surround that on these three sides with your spruce trapdoor. And on top of that is your cobblestone wall. Over on this side right here with the fun little attic window, you have a cobweb right here. This is your second level of stairs. And on your second stair is a cobweb right there. Over here on this little nook, we have this stair here, and on top of that is a cobweb. Moving down to this area right here, hiding on this cobblestone is a cobweb right there. And if we look up underneath this stair here on this cobblestone is a cobweb there. Don't forget to put your brown mushroom on top of this podzol. If you would like to place the ferns as I did around the house. This is where your ferns will go. A fern right here next to the front door. Moving over to the patio in this little spot right here is a fern as well. And if we move over to the window here on this side, a fern right there. To achieve the look of the floor of mycelium and pods all around the witch hut, I have a rule of three that I use. I'm not going to show you exactly that pattern but I'm gonna show you how I achieve it, okay? We're gonna take out three blocks and we're gonna place three mycelium. We're gonna play, take out three blocks in a random pattern and place three pods all. One, two, three, and place three mycelium. And you're going to continue that around until you achieve a fun look for your witch hut. Okay, and this will give it that random pattern as well. So use that rule of three to place your podzol and mycelium around your witch house if you choose. Anyway, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, bye bye.